Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. And today I wanted to show you um, the Attract front end running on RetroPie. Now this image was built by a fellow YouTuber by the name of Flob. Link to his channel is in the description. Also to the video, uh, he has a download link. I'm not gonna post the link to download. You need to go to his channel and get this download. It is really cool. Now, this is the Attract front end, but he has built a pre-built image that is very easy to set up. It's super simple. If you've installed RetroPie and used RetroPie, you should be able to figure this out with no problem. Um, so when we boot up, I'm brought to the scripts page here. But when I press over on my keyboard or my controller, we have this beautiful front end with the arcade cabinet. Now, as you can see, I'm going to go to Super. There is no artwork up top, the marquee, um, for, you know, Super Mario All-Stars. For a few games, there is not artwork. You can add your own artwork if you'd like. But this is really cool, guys. This runs on top of RetroPie 3.7 Emulation Station. And we can go back to Emulation Station if we'd like. This is the SNES uh, ROMs that I've set up. And if we press... This is SNES. Here I have my MAME. Now I have not set up any artwork for MAME. Uh, mainly because the names are just... As you see, it's just X-Men at the bottom. Um, this is... Uh, Cadillacs and dinosaurs. So I need to really go through and rename everything and gather some artwork to put in. We'll go to... This is Game Boy Advanced here. And as you can see, we have artwork for Castlevania. Now, some of this stuff won't show up for you. This is actually FBA emulator. But for some odd reason, it is showing Nintendo DS. Uh, Sega Genesis. And you see we have Turtles and uh, the Hyper... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Hyper Stone Heist. No artwork. Streets of Rage 2. Sonic. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Altered Beast. Now the way we do this is... Go ahead and install this image. Uh, the link's in the description to his video. Uh... And he'll tell you how to download it from there. And he explains how to use this uh, front end. Now this is a pre-built image. This is version 2 that he created. And it is amazing. I asked him permission. And he kindly let me um, make a video of this for you guys. His name is Flob. And he's been around for a little while on YouTube. And he is amazing. I have learned a lot from him. Uh, you know, how to configure RetroPie and all that good stuff. He is really good. And he's got a lot of great videos very informative but from here I have my Raspberry Pi 3 plugged in I have a keyboard my controller and Ethernet so what I did was I transferred ROMs like I do over network just like you do when you're running RetroPie or emulation station transfer your ROMs and he has a few emulators set up you can set up your own emulators if you'd like so we'll just go to emulators and here uh, from this list the only one that I added was MAME so we have Atari Lynx, FBA Next, MAME 2003 uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, NES, SNES, Neo Geo, Sega Game Gear, Master System, Mega Drive but if I was to add my SNES games to my SNES folder. It's set up just like RetroPie. And I'll go into detail on this on another video. I'm still trying to figure it out of myself. But check his video out. He explains pretty much everything you need to know about this front end. So after I added my Nintendo ROMs, I um, went into here, which is the SNES um, emulator in the configuration menu emulators Nintendo SNES and I just went to create ROM 
list. Now this will scan the SD card for the ROMs that you've installed. And then I scraped my artwork. Now this scrapes artwork from online. So a good thing to do is rename your ROMs properly and a good way to find out the name that the ROM needs to be is do some research on Hyperspin XMLs. Now you can find a list of all the properly named games. There are programs um, like Don's Hyperspin Tools that will allow you to rename, mass rename all of your ROMs. So when you go to scrape your artwork, it will find the proper artwork online. Because some of these uh, games we get are kind of named a little differently than they should be. And I just hit back. Like you can press escape. I just pressed over here and it was loaded up. I had the artwork on the marquee, the arcade cabinet, and the screenshot on the screen. It is awesome. He did such a good job with putting this together. Now it's a... This is using Robo Spin. Um, GUI, I guess you would call it. But I do recommend going to download this. If if you're setting up an arcade cabinet, this is this is pretty awesome here. I mean, this is amazing. And I'm sure that you can find the correct artwork if your names are, are if your ROMs are named correctly. It may scrape them for you um, straight, you know, right offline. So. But I'll just hit this in. One more thing before we get started. In order to configure your controls, you need to launch Emulation Station. Now I'm going to launch Emulation Station. And it could take a sec here, guys. And what it does is it should reboot back into our RetroPie 3.7 with the emulation station front end. Now from here, you can configure your controller just like you do when you set up RetroPie. Um, for this here, I'm using a wired SNES uh, generic controller. Automatically log into the emulation station. So when you first plug your controller in, it'll tell you that you got a controller. Um, it detected a controller, but I've already set this up. So um, you can go to configure input if you'd like. Just set it up just like you do with your retro pie. And in order to get back to the um, attract front end, just go into your retro pie. Switch to attract mode. I mean, it is, it's pretty simple, and once you get the hang of it, you, you got the hang of it. Now, I'm still, I just um, downloaded, I'm going to figure out more about it, how to add my own artwork and get, you know, I, I want all of my ROMs to have a marquee, which is the top of the arcade machine in the, the GUI that we go through. And I want a screenshot of all of my ROMs. This is the attract, um, attract mode front video. Now this will start when you start attract mode here. But it is really simple. There's a lot of settings. Now he has added some scan lines to a few games or to a few emulators. I'm not a big fan of scan lines. I'm going to try to figure out how to disable this and I'm going to get more stuff installed here and if you guys need any help let me know but definitely go check out his video because he explains I mean he put this image together so he knows what he's talking about he did an amazing job um, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. As soon as I get more familiar with this, I will make another video um, showing off as many emulators as I can because I really love the way this looks. I mean, this is super, super cool. Now, this uses the RoboSpin. You can hit Tab, 
We'll go to Displays and SNES and your layout. So we can change the layout. Now I haven't I haven't tried any of these. I'm going to go ahead and try Reflect. Let's just see what happens here. Okay. So there are this is actually really cool too, guys. I mean, there's a bunch to choose from within this um, build. He did an amazing job with this. I'm just going to try another one here on the, uh, oh, we'll go back, displays, SNES, and we'll try press escape. So yeah, there's, this is cool. I really do enjoy the robo spin with the uh, arcade machine itself. But I'm going to try one more before we get out of here. And guys, I definitely recommend going Orbit Grid. Um, we'll do Attract Man. And I believe, yeah. Okay. So pretty much whatever you're looking for, it's going to be in here, guys. Um, I do really enjoy the, you know, having the arcade machine, even though I know that SNES is not an arcade machine, but RoboSpin Beta? Let's check this out. Go Escape. Okay, so the RoboSpin there, yeah. This is awesome. Guys, link to his video and channel is in the description. His name's Flob. Go over there. So, so, guys, the link to his channel and the video that he does on this is in the description. Go check out his video. Download his image. Subscribe. He helped me out a lot. Um, you know, doing retro pie in general and just the raspberry pie itself you know he he does a lot on the raspberry pie and retro pie so appreciate you guys watching if you could hit that like button and subscribe if you have any requests let me know in the comments below and like always thanks for watching